So in this part of the video for the open web girder that is spanning 48 meters through a valley as you can clearly see between two abutments uh, I want to bring to your notice the roller bearings which is something that I have seen for the first time in my life and in a very clean fashion so here we go this is uh, one typical type of a roller bearing and this is provided at both the ends at this end and as well as the other end I may not be able to show you that clearly but yes at this end it is very clear and uh, I think that is this is a knuckle type of roller bearing but I will confirm it by suitable literature so just have a look at this how the connection is made how the uh, bearing is uh, ensured and how this bottom cord is connected to this roller bearing because I am 101% sure most of the designers in the design office would not have seen a thing like this a thing so clear so just focus on the details uh, you can see the top plate is connected to one mechanical arrangement this top plate which is welded to this bottom cord of the truss and then as this is spanning throughout the length of the bearing if you will see and this is basically provided this roller is basically provided to ensure the expansion or the contraction of the entire steel truss which is of 48 meters and it may be helpful in releasing the tensile or the compressive stress is generated due to contraction and expansion of the entire truss so this is one detail which is uh, very less visible or very less encountered by design engineers so just have a clear look at this and at the other end I have seen that it is supported by two elastomeric bearings on both the sides